my gosh, what are the odds? This is great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Whew. I can't wait to see what else is in there. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am here with the Taco Stacks who is currently contemplating what he just did, or what we just did. Uh, we just purchased this five by 15 storage unit. I'm excited about this. Sometimes when I get really excited, it turns out to be not that good, but I think that's not gonna be the case for this one. Uh, so yes, it is small, but hopefully mighty. Small as in not too wide, but it goes back far, far, oh, Oh my gosh, already. We have vintage 12 Days of Christmas glasses. These look like they might be vintage toys, stuffed animals. I see a Mr. Coffee back there. We have these clear totes that obviously have Christmas and it's a plastic Christmas, which usually indicates maybe older Christmas. We got a bird cage for when Mr. Stacks wants to get a pet bird. I think this is gonna be good. I'm excited. Let's get unpacking and see what treasures in this unit. Are you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> show more jacket. You want mine? No, Yours that blue jacket in the van. No, right. All right. I see. I think vintage uh, stuffed animals. Oh really? I see a lot of stuff in there. I thought did not think there'd be that much stuff. Well, it'll be okay. We have seven. He has. We have 72 hours to clean this out. I'm excited. Who knows what's in the back? Got yourself a dolly. So oh, are you gonna buy a bird now? <laughs> Aw, you can name it. Oh wait, if it's a parrot, uh, what like, what food starts with a, a P? I don't know. Take out this guy. Ooh. Oh, I think I see. Oh, okay, just open it. Oh, I thought it was something different. That's cute though. You're gonna be set for the hot. Holidays, Cobble Creek. Those are cute. You might need to look those up. That's like 90s ish. Let's see what this one has newspapers. Oh, we have placemats. What do you got? You got placemats, tinsel. This feels heavy. Oh, <gasps> no way! No way. <laughs> I even told him, I'm like, watch, you are going to find Vintage Christmas. Why would you say the placemats? Why would you say the placemats? I was gonna say there's gonna be a ceramic. Oh my gosh, what are the odds? This is great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Whew. I can't wait to see what else is in there. Okay, let's see. What else can we wish for? Hall Howard, Knee Hugger Elves. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> All right. Well, now, this is. What if there's like more than one of them in here? We got. We're gonna take it out and show. Well, not all the way out, but it looks like this is a nice one. <gasps> this is a two-layer one, I think. Maybe. No. It's not. Darn it. Still. It is. Oh no, the bottom's really nice. I'm taking up too much time on a tree, but we got it because this is exciting. It is a, tr a different layer one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a musical one. Oh. It's a two layer musical vintage ceramic tree. Play the music. I don't know how that works. Does it work that way? It's just, yeah, it's just the music box underneath. Oh. Doesn't work. No. Still. Gotta replace the music. That's crazy. That is insane. That's like only the second musical one I've ever found. Then we have these guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. <laughs> All right, since we're on a, a, a run, a vintage Christmas, Let's take it into the, oh, it's white. I don't think there's a tree in this guy. Ooh. You got your yarn. Strawberry cheesecake cupcake candle. Oh, wow. Well, it made it smell nice. Use view. It's a jar dish. We have some snow. Some tinsel. 
Um, ooh, oh, that's cute. Mickey Mouse Energizer. It must light up or something. We have more of the plastic Christmas. Wow. Oh, there's a whole bunch of these. Oh, look. You can put it on the tree that you need. Oh, Donald Duck one. I don't have that one. <laughs> and there's Goofy. And good old Pluto. Aw. This one can be for salsa. That's a cute bin. There's a lot of good stuff. So the bird cage is gone. We have this actually really nice looking desk. I wonder what's in there. It has an airline tag on it. I'm going to take a peek. Oh, there's Garfield. Garfield. We got Garfield. Christmas Garfield. He's ready with his skis. That's definitely an 80s guy. We did find a dead mouse at the bottom of the birdcage, so... Who's this guy? We have a dinosaur. No, what the heck? Fun Street, okay. And then there's a teddy bear. But Garfield, to the flea market, you will go. People love Garfield. Oh, his tail's chewed up, man. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, the potpourri. That doesn't scream 90s and 80s. I don't know what does. I had to do a, had to do a switcheroo on cameras because my good camera may have just bit the big one for real now. Um, but anyway, we're going to get to the exciting part because I moved that, this travel bag, and do you see what I see? Oh my gosh. Excuse me, lamps. We got to get to these guys. Oh my gosh. They just need a little bit of cleaning. Okay, maybe a lot of cleaning. <laughs> but still, this is like the vintage Christmas unit of, maybe it could be the vintage Christmas unit of our dream. Oh, we got some books. Debbie McComer. The case of the calendar, girl. Oh boy. We got some sports magazines is this a nascar Sh Ill illustrated 2005 taco knows more about nascar than i do um we got a little candle there's just boxes and boxes back there prince and the pauper mark twain oh they like the philadelphia eagles wouldn't that be something if there was vintage Fill it up, eagle clothes in here? Yeah, maybe. Look at that. That's the first time I've seen a stein made into the lamp. We've got a fry baby. Oh my gosh, these are great. I got the better camera working. <laughs> Just gotta push this little thing down a little bit. Like this video and share it so that I can get a new camera. Huh. So yes, there's Taco's getting on his uh, chest mount, but there's just box after box after box, and I'm hoping that it's filled with all sorts of great things. What is that? A bread maker? Oh man. Taco's gonna be making some bread. So if you want to see everything that is in this unit, be sure to go on Taco's channel as well. Oh my gosh, like there's just... <laughs> What if that's all boxes? It looks like it. This one. Oh, I bet you that's a goose. I bet you that is a, oh, are those toys? Oh my gosh. We're gonna save that one for taco, but I think this is that classic ceramic goo. Oh, I can't get to that one yet, darn it. I guess we gotta work in this order. We'll get the spiral ham box. Oh geez, hold on. Okay. Work with the spiral ham. You want the spiral ham one? Yeah. <laughs> Why can you see what's in it? I can't. No, I can't. Is this? I have no idea what's in there. Oh. Open it up. Oh, we got some utensils. We got the, the kitchen section. So far, it has been like a kitchen. Oh, there's a. Oh, are these the flip ones? 
Oh, this is good for the flea market. Cuts down festival. Those are anchor hawking, right? Oh! <gasps> Don't get killed by anything. Hazel Atlas. Hazel Atlas, sorry. Oh, that's the bottom. Yeah, this is a nice piece. Yeah, the ice cream scooper. Oh my gosh, there's Raggedy Ann and Andy. Oh yeah, right over here. What's that guy? Is that like a little pottery? Oh, 10, Ten cents. cents. Wow. Oh my gosh, these are like the retro Tupperware. Ingersoll Rand. Is this for Peberg? This is the Technical Training Center in California. Oh my gosh, this is a good... Is this a toothbrush holder? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It is. Oh, you can't see. The light, the light, there. Probably didn't get that. We have a Raggy and Andy, looks like maybe toothbrush holder, soap holder. We have the radio. What's that one? Baltimore, Baltimore. Ravens. How often do you find that kind of stuff? 1996. How's that team? Uh, they're really good this year. Oh, there you go. This oh year. Oh my gosh, this is great. Are you excited? There's so much stuff. <laughs> he was going to stop bidding. And I'm like, yeah, but there's like plastic Christmas in those front toes. <laughs> I suckered him in. Just wait. Wait until we find that whole box of vintage eagles. Raven shirts. It's got to be in here. All right, so I'm going to see if my prediction is right. I grew up with the goose. My mom actually still has a goose in her kitchen. So I got to see if it's a goose. The goose is loose. I think you got more. Which side was the goose on? This side. And well, that's not a goose. That's a, a heavy cheese dish lid for a charcuterie board. Yep, it's a goose. I don't want to unwrap everything, but you can see the this is the goose's head. Ooh, we got a nice. Oh, what's what's that? It's a donkey. It's a donkey planter. If you could see it. Yep, it's a goose. The goose is loose. What's here? Oh my gosh, these guys. They must have left to go to yard sales. We have a cute New York souvenir plate that's really cute all retro kitchen items that we're gonna have to unpack oh these are napkins what? oh my gosh it's ziggy hooray for the irish i don't know who this woman was but i like her 25 cents oh my gosh it definitely must have been an older woman and you know perhaps she passed away and our family's like we don't want this stuff so saving it from there's two goose in here oh my gosh is that money i think i found the tea canister wow while Taco Stacks has been finding lots of Tupperware, I've been on the Christmas hunt, and this box has Fragile Xmas. What? Oh, yeah. Let's take it out and get a closer look. He thinks it's bells. <laughs> it looks like it's like a crop. Well, it's not too heavy. Oh, we got a teapot. This is the teapot box, so they must have mixed up the lid. That's cute. Yeah, these are all, all little teapots. I mean, I love tea, so. This is, that says 20 quart sauce pot, 1999. Let's see what this other box is on the bottom. I was gonna put it up top. So this is, maybe not, you wanna take that? That's fun, I think. Mm. So this is an old tomato, tomato box. Oh gosh. July 4th parade. There's gotta, there's gotta be Pyrex in here somewhere. It's gotta be. These those, oh, it's like um, 
more like 80 stuff, 25 cents. They must have been a big yard sale shopper, which could always be good because you never know what they picked up at a yard sale. What's this guy? Oh, that's broke. That was barware. Yeah, it looks like, oh, bicentennial. Oh no, that's not. That's for a celebratory of a town. So yeah, it looks like all mugs in this one. On to the next. We're still working. We're in this back corner and it is, it really is all boxes, which is a good thing. So we have this box, another tomato box. Ooh, what the heck? An apple dish. Oh, they're like little coasters. So you put your drink there and then you can put your other stuff there. That's retro. Kodak's, oh my gosh. These are for 110. It's still in there. You can still get that film developed. It just costs, you can get film developed. It's like $30 for, ooh, oh. Is that gold? It's marked. Sea swirl pendant, almost like the hand, almost like a hand-picked shell. I don't, I don't think that's 14 karat gold. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, how cute. It's fake shell, but that's cute. We got a telephone. I should put my gloves back on. I like these apple trays. Are these just empty boxes? It sounds like it. Yeah. Empty. That's from Lee. Lay. Uh, Lee's. This has all sorts of stuff inside. We got a wallet, another camera. Sundusher film. Ten cents. Oh my gosh, those were the days. Dominion. That's empty. Oh my gosh, a flash bar. Jeez. Two eighty nine. From Thrift Drug Avon. Oh, oh. I'm guessing this isn't. It's from Avon. Oh, uh, that's probably not. Yeah, yeah. That marked Avon. They weren't they weren't fourteen? No, they just said Avon. Avon. Some Avon still does fairly well. Here's a box for it. Yeah. Got some co oh man, you we should look this up. Dollar ninety nine, one ten. That's when we had. We definitely gotta look that up because you never know. You just never know. Oh, Uno, Uno, and Phase Two. I think are in here. What's this guy? Those are cute Coca Cola trays. Oh, these are adorable. Dr Pepper, Coca Cola. Those are cute. All right, we're getting towards the end. This is really cool. It is Happy Hanukkah wrapping paper. I love the colors. It was from Ollie's for 99 cents. Wow. And there's some other vintage wrapping paper, but the Hanukkah one's probably my favorite because I don't see that that often. This box says Harriet Carter. Oh gosh. <laughs> we got more tins. More tins. They specialized in tins, Tupperware, cameras, and miscellaneous stuff from the 90s, it looks like. Clock junk miscellaneous. When Taco said, like, you label a box yard sale junk. You kind of... Ooh, checkbook. M&M's. What's this? Did you look in this one? Luckiest Christmas tree ever. They have checks still in here. Oh, darn it. Oh, wow. It's for Nintendo Power. This got wet or was wet. Is this George Washington? No, not George Washington. We got some family photos in here. Oh my gosh. I had cards that had that dog, the dogs and the cat on it. Yeah, like if this would have been good 80s and 90s stuff, 
I mean, it's all still sellable, which is nice. But it's like, again, we get so close to that 80s... Uh, it's all going to fall out. 80s um, treasure trove and then it slips away. So I'm going to keep... We're going to keep unloading and going through the boxes. Lots of boxes. Now, if the photos would have shown all these boxes, this unit would have went for probably... I'd say at least $300. People love boxes because you never know what's inside. So I hope you enjoyed this. Hey, we found the Christmas tree. Some of the other vintage stuff. That Christmas tree, it was up. We, our expectations were, whew. I was hoping for more, but you never know what you might find in the next storage unit or the next storage pile. This was definitely fun. It's fun to see what people have stored throughout the years, why they have stored it. And this stuff will go back to the flea market and see the light of day once again. Anyway, thanks so much, so much for watching. I hope you had a great time seeing all these treasures that have been stored for years. Stay tuned for the next adventure, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm.